So we're here with Alexi, and he's going to tell us about the Pony ORM, which is a uh, generating ORM that uses generator expressions to uh, create SQL statements. So, Hi, everyone. Pony is object relational mapper. The most interesting feature of uh, Pony ORM is its ability to write uh, queries to the database using generator syntax. Uh, it increases the level of abstraction and allows the programmer to concentrate on the business logic of the application. So let's see how uh, Pony does this. This is, this is one of them right here? Yeah, this is one of these. Th them, uh, and uh, when Pony uh, gets the generator, it first decompiles the bytecode and builds abstract syntax tree. So it's a standard uh, Python abstract syntax tree. Then it annotates the nodes and assigns types to, to, it, to these nodes. So we get an annotated tree. And then at the next step, it builds an abstract SQL. So it reminds. Uh, so it's mapping the SQL types to the nodes that it generates. Right, and okay. it, it creates abstract SQL for this generator expression. Mm -hmm. After this, uh, Pony can build a specific SQL for a particular database. Now, does it use like Psycop G? Does it use a specific driver? For yeah, it it, it uses a specific driver. Uh, and you can choose between four databases, Postgres, Oracle, SQLite, or uh, MySQL. So Postgres, Oracle, MySQL, and SQLite. Right. So uh, here we have an example, and uh, this is e-commerce data model. Uh, with this query, uh, we get average uh, total order price for all orders uh, in 2012. Uh, here we uh, analyze the year of uh, the attribute date created and uh, Pony will generate different SQL for Postgres and SQLite. Uh, also you can, uh, you can uh, use external variables in your, in your queries. Uh, in this query we get a customer's email from an external source, for example from a website uh, front-end. Uh, and uh, these uh, variables will be passed to a SQL statement as parameters, which eliminates the uh, risk of SQL injection. Also, you can uh, traverse attributes and not worry about joins, table joins. Pony does it for you. That's pretty huge. Tell uh, us about the uh, N1 problem. How does it get rid of that? Um, it has uh, the concept of seeds. So it creates seeds, and uh, uh, when um, a pony understands that uh, uh, a user uh, does a loop over the data, it uh, gets, uh, to, uh, gets all the data at once. Uh, the, the fact that pony translates SQL queries uh, allows it to recognize some data access patterns and optimize them. For example, it uh, can optimize um, optimize aggregate functions uh, and uh, replace uh, uh, subqueries with left joins. In this query, uh, we get a list of tuples. The first element of this tuple is uh, a customer object, and the second one is uh, the sum of all orders uh, for this particular customer. We uh, order this list in the descending order by the aggregated value and get the first 10 records from the database. Um, in order to work with the, the uh, data, you need to generate a model. Uh, and uh, you can use a diagram editor and uh, build uh, your uh, model, which will be then, uh, uh, then Pony will generate Python code for it. Or you can uh, write these declarations manually, of course. This is the uh, URL of uh, the editor. You can check that out. Uh, Pony. So, so, is this just using? Uh, is this just using standard libraries, or is there any external stuff for the base of Pony? Uh, you need to import Pony, Pony ORM, and that's it. But is Pony just built on top of the standard libraries? Yes, sure. Oh, yes. So it's pure. That's it's cool. pure Python, right? 
uh, Pony implements uh, ident the identity map pattern uh, and other interesting features include uh, optimistic transactions and the Pony is uh, fun to play with uh, in the interactive mode. Uh, so you can, uh, you can try it, uh, pip install Pony and uh, uh, it, uh, the, the package goes with some examples and uh, you can try them right on. That's exciting. This is really cool.